everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to submit a temporary closure to CCS. This feature is helpful and will save you time when you have to report that your service is closing to CCS. To complete this action, you're going to need to switch your application mode from service to enterprise. You need to ensure you have the user role access provider management or the user role attribute account management. You're then going to click on the administration menu and under general, click on groups. You're then going to click on your group name and click on the service approvals tab. This action will need to be completed per service. Click on the service name and then you're going to click on the temporary closure tab. Click to add a new temporary closure. Enter in your start date. You must put an end date in. This may be on an approximate date, but that's okay. Select a reason from the drop down box. Now, these reasons are supplied from CCS, and you can even complete a detailed reason if required. However, this is not mandatory. When you've completed all fields, you can click Save. This will submit the temporary closure to CCS. These CCS temporary closures are hidden. And if you do need to update the end date of the temporary closure, you can click to add a new temporary closure Enter in a new start date, add a new end date, select the reason, and click Save. For further information on the CCS temporary closure, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft Customer Success Team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you. Thank you.